be kind and merciful and soft and polite to them. The way we talk, the way you talk to them, the way you lift them up, the way you feed them, the way you look at them, the way you deal with them, they are, they are weak, they are sick. Their bodies are already hurting and aching. Don't cheer them. Don't give them jolting. They are dependent on you. Be soft. Be polite. Be merciful. And be very, very kind. Allah is not kind to them who is not kind. Allah will not be merciful on them who is not, who not merciful. Number five. Look after their requirements, their needs, and care for their feelings and their desires and try to fulfill their wishes. They fulfilled our wishes. They, they completed our requirements. They were sensitive about our desires. Hazrat Imam Zainul Abidin he was Hassan bin Ali. He, he had a mother who was widowed and she was old and she was sick and she was weak and she was also semi-blind. And you know what the son used to do? All the way from his workplace, he used to walk back to his house to have lunch with his mother. And there were two or three days when one of his friends accompanied him and the friends he observed that Imam Zainul Abdeen used to wait for his mother to eat and when she used to finish or when she used to stop eating then only he used to eat and the brother, friend asked him I don't understand you come all the way walking back rushing hurrying that I want to go and have lunch with my mother and when you come here you don't eat with her and you let her eat and then you eat? Imam Zainul Abidin said, My friends, why must it be so hard for you to understand and comprehend? The matter is that I don't eat with her simply because I'm afraid that I might take a piece of meat which she likes. And so I let her eat first and then I eat the remaining food afterwards. Sixth, serve them. Do service to them, attend to them, like, like the leader of the women of Jannah, Hazrat Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha, served her father. She used to wash his clothes, she used to wash his hair, she used to comb them, she used to oil them. And then Hazrat Awais Karani rahmatullah alayh, he was a tabi. He was not awarded the level of Sahaba Ikram, although he embraced Islam in the life of the Prophet wasallam, but he could not come to meet and to be in the company of the Prophet wasallam. So that is why he is he was not a Sahaba and he was not amongst the companions of the Prophet wasallam. And despite accepting Islam, he just did not come and visit the Prophet ﷺ for the mere, mere reason that he was busy looking after his old debilitated mom. And you know what? He even performed Hajj after the death of his mother. But he has been given the, the name of Khairu Tabain, the best of Tabain.